Hottest day in 113 years. Whew. Curious, I feel like my heart's beating fast. Whew. That's tiring. It's hot. Okay. Today is Thursday, August 18th, and yesterday was the hottest day in 113 years, and today it is supposed to be hotter than that. It reached 130 degrees here in Furnace Creek or Death Valley, California, and I thought I would do a crazy golf challenge. I wanna play 18 holes in the hottest temperatures in the world. Today it's gonna to be 125 to 130 degrees here. Right now we're 214 feet below sea level and this is the lowest course in the world. I basically just wanna survive this. Right now it's 10 o'clock in the morning and it's 113 degrees. By the time that we finish this 18 holes, it should be close to 125 to 130 degrees temperature. Right now we are with Jordan. He is the head pro at Furnace Creek Golf Club. How did it go yesterday? Yesterday was a little toasty, it was about 129. Did um, anybody golf? No one golfed yesterday. Not one person. No, not one person. <laughs> In order to get a tee time, they asked me if I wanted to play anytime between 6.30 and 10 a.m. Do you close it down when it's this hot because you just don't want people teeing off after 10 a.m.? Yes, that's the rule, yeah. But after 10 o'clock, it's just too, too, too deathly. I told my kids I was going to Death Valley, California. They didn't know what Death Valley was and they just said, Dad, please don't die. That is goal number one, is to not die today. Goal number two is to uh, play 18 holes in the hottest temperatures that the world has seen. Hunter's gonna help keep an eye on me to make sure I'm safe. We're gonna be driving in a cart that has some shade. We have tons of water bottles I brought. I think we need to fill these bad boys up. Yeah, we definitely need to fill them up, but my whole job today is to keep Dan hydrated and hydrated by using the What's Inside water bottles. Uh, you can go to what's inside merch Look at that plug. <laughs> He's already plugging the water bottles. Let's get some water, let's get some sunscreen, and then let's tee off. They don't even have the blue tees anywhere. It's just white, so yeah, I'm playing from whites. Only person out here, how long is it gonna take? Oh. And we're in the fairway, first shot. Let's do this. This is a 150 marker. We are 400 out, so I just hit my driver 250. That's pretty good, but I definitely lost about 35 yards. 156, I'm gonna go with the eight iron. Let's see if there's any difference in flight. Right on the money with the distance. I just pushed it way right. There's the green. Here's the next tee box. Wow. The rough, they actually do a really good job at keeping it wet here. And apparently this is the low point for this entire area. So there's like almost like a natural springs of water. It's not like they're pumping it in and wasting water from somewhere. This water is here and it exists. It's just this natural oasis. these greens are incredibly thick right now like a sponge uh, because I hit that ball way too hard and it ended up looking like the perfect lag putt we start off with a bogey we're one over it may not be my low round even though it's the lowest course in the world but hey this is fun this is like a bucket list thing I'm checking off the list right now one hole in time to drink some water and on to the next we got a sprinkler attacking us here in the tee box I'm on the green but I'm like on the very back of the green all right, let's go. I feel a little fatigued. So will we complete 18 holes? I'm not sure yet, but I'm not gonna push my luck. Come on. Woohoo! These are some slow greens. I thought I hit that too hard. I didn't even make it up the hill. Get in there. <laughs> okay, there's a dead bee and uh, a bunch of water in the cup. Bogey bogey. Pars and birdies are coming. All right, the third hole is a 404 yard par four. But if you look out there, it looks really far and the ball's not flying as far. And we're into the wind on this hole. It's humid out here. You wouldn't think it's so humid. Ripped it, still doesn't fly far. That was about as good as I can hit it. Yeah. There we go. Go. Got up in the wind. 
didn't go as far as I was hoping. Left it like a club short. It was 157, I should have hit uh, seven iron. Might be able to get par. Gotta get up and down from about 25 feet. Gosh. Gave it extra and I still didn't get it there. Well, if you came here to watch three putts, you are in the right place. <laughs> These greens are like nothing I've put on before. I tried to give that one a bit extra just so I could make it to the hole and not leave it short again. And then it broke to the right. Three holes in, three bogeys. But I feel like all of those were makeable pars. I should have been able to make pars. So pars and birdies are coming. I'm confident. I'm feeling better. Water yeah. break. After every hole. Bogeys. I'm going to bet on this shot getting right by the hole and I'm putting it between me and the hole. There's a chance that the ball hits the drone in the air, which would be pretty cool. Or there's a chance I hit it and then it rolls up and goes in the hole and we get a really cool angle of it. So it says on the card, we've got 142 yards. It is playing in the very, very back. So I'm gonna use my laser just to make sure. I mean, if I'm gonna get a hole in one, I've got the drone there. Every yard counts. 150 playing 147. This actually, this Bushnell, I just got it. It's about a year old. Um, it measures the humidity in the air and it measures the elevation that you're at. And then it calculates what it should do. I thought that it would be a little different, like 150 playing 147. I would think it'd be like 150 playing 155. So I'm starting to question this whole Bushnell thing. You get a hole in one, you're giving away 10 water bottles. I'll give away 10 backpacks if I hit a hole in one. How about that? All right, pitching wedge at 140 yards. Pretty good, a little left. Gotta go. You're starting to huff and puff. How are you feeling? Good, I got I got water. Not a bad lead. I don't know, 30 feet maybe. If I can get a two putt par, that'd be a good start to this round. That might be close enough. Ladies and gentlemen, on the fourth hole, we might have my first par. Taking the flag stick out. I've been known to miss many putts from this distance. This is no gimme. Oh, it started to wobble. Par, baby! There's a par. I don't want to yell too loud because it takes energy. It can serve all my energy. Par, baby! Drink water. Try not to run. Don't get too amped. Par, baby! It's one thing you can't tell on YouTube videos. But it's really difficult to see how hot it is and how humid it is in different places. And even when you're watching like professionals play golf, you gotta take that into account. Like where are they playing? How hot and humid it is? Obviously it's no Death Valley, but it might be a little rougher conditions than what you think it is. And those guys are walking. I'm not walking today. I've got my Eric Anders Lang random golf club Jones bag here that I love. It's super light, perfect for walking, but I have no shame in taking a golf cart today. It's getting hotter in the day. I don't even know what the temperature is. It just feels muggy and hot and humid and heavy. The air feels heavy. Trouble on the left, white stake, out of bounds, Death Valley. Right just has some uh, dirt. Let's just keep it in the fairway. A little left, but looks like it's on green grass. We're moving. We're moving down the longest hole so far. Whew! It's hot. Pure death. That's all that's out here. Death. Look at those trees. Other than this little water hole right here that's runoff. You just have dead trees out there. Oh, why did I just climb up that 20 foot hill? That's tiring. Go left, buddy. Get left. I think I'm dancing. Let's see how hot it is. Well, it's 114 and it feels like 114. I'm not that far off for being a par five. I've got a birdie opportunity. Do birdies live in the desert? Dad joke. Par par, par par. Six hole, 421 yards, another par four. We've got water all along the left and lots of uh, dirt on the sides. It, it looks a little tight up there. Nice little walkway pathway up to the tee box. And then there's ducks. There's a pond right there. It looks tight. It's almost like there's two fairways, but it's gonna try to stay right of that tree. Perfect. It's about as good as I can hit a driver right there. It sounded pretty. I'm usually not a fan of putting my head covers on during the round, but with it being so hot, I don't think I think I'd burn my hand on the top of my driver head if I didn't do it. They see me rolling. Caddy notes. The seat is so hot. 
it's it's got to be like 120 degrees. It is crazy hot in these golf carts, and just keeps getting hotter and hotter. At most courses, when you see this in the fairway, it's considered ground under repair, but it's not marked. I feel bad hitting from this, but imagine they're gonna try to grow stuff. I think you should move to the fairway. Just be cur courteous of the course. It looks like it's ground under repair, like that at most courses on the fairway. I mean, this is the fairway. Look at the line, the cut of it. Pitching wedge goes like 135, 140 but into the wind. I, I'm gonna go pitching wedge. Let's see if we can get this there. Bermuda grass just grabs your club. We don't have that where I live. I'll learn how to golf in Bermuda. I kind of am getting the distance here. That was not bad. I'm happy about a bogey. Maybe I'm starting to learn how to read these greens a little bit. You know what that means? Birdies are coming. Hey Hunter, how many birdies do you think I'll have today? Zero? Or one. I think you'll get at least one. Miracles happen, right? Woo! Oh, that's exhausting. Good thing I have a medical professional here watching and evaluating everything. Oh, you know what? I have this band right here. It's, it's by Whoop, and a lot of the pro golfers use it. One of the things it does it measures your heart rate. Curious, I feel like my heart's beating fast. Right now we're on the seventh hole, I just teed off. My heart rate right now is 124. I'm in the mild strain range, 60 to 70% heart rate. When I turned it on, I was in the 130s, which is 70 to 80%. There it is right there, I'm at like 121. We're gonna keep an eye on that. I think if it gets too much in the dangerous zone at some point, then we'll just have to call it. But so far we are six holes in, four over, and starting to sweat, and uh, we're chipping onto the green. Let's go get a birdie. I'm gonna chunk it. Well, chunks happen. I don't know the last time I played a shot that bad. Is it okay to blame the heat? I'm blaming the heat. A miracle to get this thing on the green. Yep. Miracles happen, right? Falling apart here, boys. It's okay to have one blow up hole. Let's just not turn into more acid. Oh my, that came out pure. Ha! <laughs> so predictable. down the hill. I hit that so hard. On my home course, that would have been off the green. Kind of hoping I had a back stop here and it would come back. <sighs> Triple bogey. But the good thing about the Furnace Creek Golf Course is they know this is about the time when you are gonna be feeling it. They did something really nice. They put a soda machine out here. Bad news, it doesn't take fives. I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking, I'll let you keep the change. Good news is we do have some power aids, thanks to Jordan. He gave us a couple of drinks, Hunter. Here you go, buddy. Thank you. And it's still cold. It was in a cooler with ice. This is needed. Seventh hole stretch. It's so cold, like the, the drink, it almost hurts. I can feel it going all the way down my throat into my stomach. Oh man, that is good. Water's good, but if you're coming out here to play, Get some Powerade or Gatorade. I don't know how many of you would actually watch this video and say, I need to go play that course. I hope some of you would, but most likely you're, you're just watching this going, this guy's an idiot. If you do play the course though, make sure to tag us. Have you noticed that Hunter loves shout outs? He's always thinking social. He runs like our a lot of stuff on the back end of stuff. So earlier he's like, if you go to what's inside, What's inside merch.com, you can buy water bottles. And now he's like, if you come here, make sure to tag us at What's Inside. It's true though. I would like, that's the best part is connecting with you guys and yeah. like actually getting your thoughts. So if you came here, did anything that we've ever recorded, like being able to share that moment with you is awesome. It would be nice to see it as much as I tease him. That would be nice to see if you guys actually come play here. Play at your own risk. We are not telling you to come here. If you come here and get sick, and get heat stroke, it's not our fault. You've been warned. Okay, the eighth hole is a 145 yard par three with lots of water on the left and lots of trees. Can we get it close on a par three? We parred one, Let's see if we can get a birdie. All right, I measured this one at 133. Um, the giant green in the pins right on the front. Yes, I have sunscreen all over my arms. I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully it's uh, not too unpleasing to your eye. But at the same time, I'm trying to stay safe out here. 
think you're missing left. It's like drawing over to the left. All right, I'm down in this ditch. It said lots of water. Surprise, surprise. We're in Teth Valley. There's no water in this stream. Brought the wrong club. Got a sandwich. Hey, got a par putt. Didn't go in. That was so close. I missed it. That was so close. I was like, finally I made a putt outside of two feet. Boy, hey, I'm pretty happy with that rescue shot from back there. That was sweet. It was like a toilet. It just went all around the cup and then popped out. That's like one of those stories that you tell your friends how it went and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we actually got it on film. All right, this is the part of the day where we call, this is the part of the day where we call Jordan. So we're on the eighth hole. He said, call him when we get to the ninth hole. I'm gonna ask him for more drinks. Let's see what my stats are right now, my heart rate. 138, 139 right now. 118. 118. We're on the eighth hole right now, ninth hole. About to tee up on the ninth hole. I've been hitting the driver pretty straight today, so. <laughs> Famous last words. I've been hitting it pretty straight today. Shanks it left, hard left into the tree. Well, we're out. Pro tip, you don't have a ball cleaner, throw it on the bottom of the cart. Sorry, Furnace Creek Golf, that's good. All right. They see me rolling. It looked really good for a second there. Gonna roll down a bit. The greens are so funny. They're so slow. No excuses. I think that's nine over. We're playing bogey golf here. I don't know how many strokes you give yourself because of the conditions, but you got to give yourself a few. I'm happy with that. That's that's good for me, but I definitely want to go lower on the next nine holes. Okay, we're here at nine. Let's go to the pro shop. Could use a drink right now. It still says it's closed. Hello? The pro shop's closed. Let's go to the 19th hole bar and grill. I should try calling Jordan. He told us to call him. It's brutal. I'm not gonna try to pretend that I'm like tired and stuff. What you're seeing is what you see. Hey Jordan, it's Dan and Hunter. We just finished the ninth hole. I think we're gonna continue onward. Keep playing. If you happen to have any more Gatorades or Powerades and uh, you'd like to bring any out, I would definitely pay you for your time and for the drinks. I wanna make sure that you guys see every single shot. And so I made the decision. The first nine holes, we are stopping right here. Um, will I survive a full 18 holes in over 120 degrees? Um, you'll have to wait till the next video to see it. It's so hot. So um, yeah, I'm not too optimistic myself, honestly. We might need some help. Anyway, stay tuned soon. We'll have the second half of this video. Thanks for watching. My heart rate is going nuts. We have to stop so much just to chill in the shade because it's so much cooler. 121 degrees out here. I don't know about you, but the heat's getting to me. My heart rate, 141, 142. 145, 146. Why am I getting more? Is it heat? That was pretty talented, Dan. You're flying a drone while driving the golf cart. <laughs>